Hey Deckers, we got a fantastic guide for you to get Final Fantasy XIV up and running on the Steam Deck. Not the official Steam version, the Final Fantasy Launcher version, but I've got a few issues that we need to talk about first to make sure that you don't waste your time like I did. If you are looking to run the Steam version, it's very straightforward to run. However, if you already have a Final Fantasy XIV account or you're looking to do the free trial, then you cannot use the Steam version. It conflicts with the Final Fantasy XIV version and also doesn't allow you to run the trial version either. So if you do make that mistake and purchase it, don't link your Steam account. Otherwise you have to get support to unlink it for you, which takes around a week. They are very slow to respond, unfortunately. So if you do try to log in, you may get an error. The first time I did it, I got a foreign error. And after restarting this, it did let me log in. But then I got a secondary error of saying that my service account does not have a license for this version. The Steam version and the Final Fantasy XIV launcher versions have separate licenses. So don't do that. So first off, you need to go into desktop mode on your Steam Deck. Use whichever browser suits you on Steam Deck. I generally use Chrome. For the Final Fantasy XIV trial, if you do go searching for the .exe, it is the trial version that comes up by default. So again, if you already have a Final Fantasy XIV account, you cannot use the trial version and you will get an error, but only when you try the final login stage. So when you're downloading this, if it has a underscore ft.exe in the end, then that's the free trial version. By all means, use this version for this guide if you are looking to start from scratch with a brand new account and you want to take advantage of the free playable character up to level 60 before you start that subscription, then you can use this download for the rest of the guide. But if you already have Final Fantasy 14 or you're looking to restart it, then you need to go to the Final Fantasy 14 Lodestone instead to get your download.exe. So for existing accounts, search for Final Fantasy 14 Lodestone. You'll get some errors on the display site that you have to click through on the Steam Deck. I will give the direct links in the description below as best I can. And also there will be an article accompanying this. It may take an extra day or two for us to get that up, but there will be a guide on the website as well. But if you do want to go and look for yourself, there should be a direct link, but from the Lodestone, right down at the bottom, there is a game download link and you want the Windows download. I just put it in the Steam Deck downloads folder for ease. Then you can navigate to where you downloaded this, right click and say add to Steam. However, this doesn't always seem to work for me. So for safety, I always manually add it myself. So go to your Steam library on desktop mode, go to add a game, add a non-Steam game, hit browse, and then go to your Steam Deck downloads folder, which is generally home slash deck slash downloads. Say file type, all files and then you should find your final fantasy 14 setup.exe or underscore ft.exe add that click on it in the library when it pops up and go to properties and set the compatibility to proton experimental by ticking the steam play compatibility tool and selecting proton experimental from the drop down once that's set hit play and this will start the setup process. Select your language and hit accept. However, you do want to pay attention to the installation path as this is extremely important. If you do accidentally click through it all, you can rerun it to run the uninstall as it's very easy to miss the destination folder section. So if you do just rerun it, you will get the uninstall option because it does actually remember its current location and then you can rerun the installation again. So be sure to go through the options slowly so that you get the destination folder in the bottom right. Hit browse and either put this somewhere on the C drive, which will be the SSD, or if you have your SD card mapped, it will be the D drive. And I created an FF14 folder here, which will make life a lot easier in the next stage. Untick the create shortcut on your desktop because it won't be the Steam Deck desktop anyway. And hit finish. Now you can remove the Final Fantasy XIV setup.exe 
from your library. This will leave the installation folders on your drive should you want to uninstall it later or just delete it. But for now, we're just going to hide it out of the way. And now you need to add the Final Fantasy launcher directly. So go back to add a game and add a non Steam game. Hit browse and go to where you installed this. If you did do it on the SD card rather than local, you will need to go to the top level of your Steam Deck and find the run folder, then media, then the named option, which should be something like MMC. You can see my Final Fantasy 14 folder. Go into Square Enix, Final Fantasy 14. Then into boot and find the Final Fantasy 14 boot.exe. Add this to your selected programs. And once again, click on the boot.exe, go to properties and set the compatibility to Proton Experimental. Now, while you're in here, change the shortcut name from the Final Fantasy 14 boot.exe to just Final Space Fantasy Space 14. This will make things a lot cleaner in the library and will really help you looking up some artwork a little bit later. Set the compatibility to Proton Experimental and now you can run the launcher directly. All being well, you'll now be able to log in with your existing Square Enix account. And annoyingly, you'll have to do this twice. You may get a launcher error about not being able to update the version. And then you'll need to log in again on the Final Fantasy 14 launcher. But rest assured, this will now work correctly. Once you've logged in, you will have to download a lot of files, and this will take around one to two hours, depending on your connection. Once that's done, you can now quit out of desktop mode and switch over to game mode. And if you have Deki Loader installed with the Steam Grid DB plugin, you can now easily change your artwork by hitting change artwork because we changed it to Final Fantasy 14. It should bring up all of the capsules, Y capsules, heroes, etc. for you to just be able to pick from on this list. If you didn't change the name, then you can manually search for it. And if you haven't got Deki Loader and Steam Grid DB installed, I'll link the guide to have all that set up in the description below as well. Now you can go ahead and launch Final Fantasy 14. Just double check that it has still got the compatibility for Proton Experimental. Unfortunately, it doesn't remember your login. You will have to go through the login process every single time. However, it should remember your username if you tick that box. Out of the gate, you can just use the standard Steam Deck control pad layout, the gamepad with mouse trackpad. However, there are some Steam that community layouts out there. However, I didn't find that I needed these. You just need to tweak a couple of things in the game itself once we get there. Once you've logged in again, you'll likely have yet another update. So let that complete and you should then finally get a play button. All being well, once you hit the play button, it will launch as expected. You will get a Calibrate controller message. I recommend that you do go through this just to make sure everything is set up correctly. You can see that this was working perfectly fine for me with the Steam Deck controller layout, as I said. If you haven't created a character or picked your data center, then you will need to go through that process to get your character set up. But once you're in the actual game itself, you will notice that it doesn't have the controller layout that you would expect for all of the buttons that you may have seen before. As by default, the hot bars are all set up for the keyboard, although a lot of the controller settings will work and the navigation via the controller does work fine. To fix this, you need to come into the system menu and open up the character configuration menu and then scroll down to hot bar settings. You can enable the expanded controls with LT and RT, but this is not required. I haven't exactly figured out exactly what this does when you're pressing the two of these. So I do recommend to keep that off. But under the cross tab, by pressing the left button while on the character configuration screen, you just want to click enable cross hotbar. This will give you a much better layout for using your controller. However, this does double up your hotbars temporarily. You'll see here once it's applied, we've got both the 
standard hotbar and also the cross hotbar that we've just enabled overlaid on top of each other. To fix this, go back into the character configuration menu in system and go across to the display section and just turn off hotbar one and two. I did also turn off the pet hotbar, but I didn't have a pet at the time, so it didn't make much difference. So you may need to turn that back on later. But with that turned off, I just have the cross hotbar in the bottom there. You can see there just by holding the right trigger or left trigger, it's popping up the extra controls on that cross hotbar so that I can easily see what they map to to hit the attacks. Out of the gate, the settings are actually pretty good for Final Fantasy XIV. However, if you do just want to tweak it slightly, which will get you through most of the game, then you want to come back into the system configuration and then under graphic settings, you want to change the graphic settings at the top to high laptop and then just scroll down and turn off blur the graphics around object in motion. For the best part, that will get you 60 plus frames per second through most of the game, with a few dips in some of the bigger towns, but otherwise it's perfectly fine. Let us know how you get on with Final Fantasy XIV, and if you do run into some issues, feel free to leave a comment below, or hit us up on Discord, and we'll do our best to help. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next one.